Yo, what's happening? Oh, I'm going to tell you exactly what's happening. Tell them. It's been a long day as well, what's happening. But we got Cold War planes. We've got... Uh, More planes. A tractor and other planes. Stay there. Things are a little bit overgrown. Do you know, I feel all our videos are just going to weeds with bits of metal sticking out of them and going, oh, look at this. Wrong, isn't it? Winter sort of times, you can come in here, you can get close up to them, but we'll have a little filter through. We can probably still get at a few as well. But yeah. literally, this was someone's private collection. He just liked planes, so started buying them and storing them here on his farm. The lady's lovely, you know. Just don't just come here no, and just no. sneak around. Go knock the door, because she's lovely, you know. She'll give you a little chat with you. and. Yeah, she gives you permission. So let's join us around the farm and the plane. Right, so normally when you come and look at planes like this, they're in a museum, not necessarily in a farm. As you can hear, big V8 diesel in the back. We're doing tractor stuff. Well, we're not, but the farmer is. <laughs> anyway, check this out. Cockpit, awesome. Ejector seat, awesome. Rescue. Then maybe pull that, touch that. But I think, right, even like in this sort of glory, the patina on them, it's still around, they're not chopped up for scrap metal, which is also good. And also, I'll be upfront and honest, I haven't got the knowledge for stuff like this. How about you? <laughs> I can tell you a Boeing 747, I can tell you a DC-10. Planes, not so much. Um, Hawker Sidley, Hawker Hunter, that's the only sort of stuff I know when it comes to things. Gloucester Javelins, um, meteorites, that sort of stuff. Let me just walk over this. I'm sorry if it's a bit bouncy, but you know, Touching a plane on a Tuesday afternoon. I ain't against it. I think it's cool. I think it's awesome that they're so like inviting and friendly. They say don't, you know, climb on them, not to hurt yourself, but also to damage them. But I'm all about the patina, you know. I do really love it. I think it's brilliant. Here we go, you can get the nose of this one. From driving, well, driving, flying hundreds of miles an hour. It's to now just being sat. Hundreds of clicks. Hundreds of clicks <laughs> to now being sat in a field. But it's all, yeah. I, do you know what? I got a lot of time for this. I think it's brilliant. So let's move it around and let's see what else we can see. In between all the farm implements. That's nice. So now some sort of rake. Look, obviously falls over. Some sort of rake. A folding rake. Folding rake. <laughs> I'm not a farmer. There we go. This little one. Almost reminds you of like a red arrow sort of vibe, doesn't it? Couldn't tell you if it is or not. Landing gears down. This is cool. This is very cool. I tell you what as well, you can see why pilots are small. Because Big Boss wouldn't be sitting in there. But yeah, awesome. Wow. Just kind of sneak you a little bit in there. Brilliant. Fast. And then this big boy. He looks awesome as well. Um, it's that French flag on it. Wow. That's a sizable plane is what that one is. I think there's another one coming in, but if we wait here. Whereas we just venture on through again. This time I met with a KN280. That's this thing, whatever that is. Done all my farm stuff in there. And there we go. There's this. That's a big old boy as well, that is. Look at the windscreen wiper on that as well. Brilliant. Awesome. And as I said, I do apologize. There's farm stuff happening in the background. A bit of plowing is going on at the minute. But it's the season and all that. And I also know from memory, down with that tractor is doing that. There's another plane which has been pulled down the bank in at some point. Oh, all right, we might have to go and have a look at that. Genuinely. It is very loud though, so we apologize for that. We oh, heard me. He did <laughs> hear you. But there we go. Awesome. But you know, you can't get in any of them. But it's just cool to document. It's cool to see them. What are you it's, saying? It's the first different. I haven't got planes in a backyard, have I? Exactly. First plane videos that's going up on the channel, and certainly oh, yeah, yeah. not the last. We need a plane playlist to get now. There we go, but this is cool, man, isn't it? It's good to see. A um, nice plane graveyard, a military plane graveyard. So it is absolutely killer, I'll be honest. So yeah, this sort of patina, rust, my sort of thing, right down to a T. So this is a permission visit as well. Lovely kind lady, she let us on her land. So yeah, we can take our time, enjoy it. Not be on our toes like we normally are, thinking who's gonna come or whatever. I'll take you on a little explore. Gotta go under these planes. 
so we know I'm six foot four, so I'm not the smallest person to be stumbling around. So you can patina on him, it's incredible. Nice first aid hatch. That probably show you inside the plane. Not that you can see a whole lot in there. Just put my arm in stingy nails as well, brilliant. As you can see, these are fantastic. Just take you one round to a few of the others. This is probably one of my favorites. I actually got some of these dinky toy models actually in the shop at the moment. So some of you know in vintage toy dealer. So these are pretty special. I'll just take you around the other side, Kurt's taking photos at the moment. This right was the obvious way. <laughs> Just where do you see stuff like these days? These, uh, around these days, you just don't see it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So, not made of whole lot. But obviously, you gotta be fast, so. That's how they were made. Just take around to the front of this one. This one is pretty damn cool. So I've taken plenty of albums of these uh, photos of them, so I put in albums, track them to Flickr, so you can see them. But yeah guys, that's part of the plain graveyard. <laughs>